Hello friends, welcome back to the Lightford house. Today I am just showing you a before shot of my back porch. Uh, we're really just trying to get the porch fixed up for summer and make it look a little bit better. We just moved in at the end of July of last year, so um, we haven't even been here a full year yet and we are um, just getting it fixed up. So we bought this patio set from Amazon before we moved in and it actually arrived I think the day we moved in or the day after but anyway I just put that pool box together over there I got that from Sam's Club I'll zoom in so you can see I've got my ninja wood fire grill sitting on it right now um, but it's gray in color the rest of the cushions are in the pool box right now because whenever we get a bad storm the wind just blows the cushions off the chairs and so we set a few out because we were using this earlier but the cushions do need to be washed. They can come off of these um, pillows, so I will wash those. So it comes with beige cushions and there's two like, red pillows to give it a pop of color. But um, And then this grill right here actually stopped working this past weekend. So we're going to um, get a new grill here soon and I'm going to get the stand for my wood fire grill. I was using like a folding table, but anyway, yeah, so we are going to fix this up. So far, the patio set has been holding up great. We used it some last summer, and it's pretty comfortable. And I'm going to get an outdoor rug for out here. So I went to Home Goods today. I also went to Marshall's the other day. Marshall's didn't have much as far as outdoor stuff. I also uh, was at Sam's Club earlier today. And I did see some, but they only had like five left. So I'm waiting to see if they restock those. So overall, it's a good size patio. We love the patio. And we do spend a lot of time out here in the summer grilling, um, hanging out, drinking coffee and whatnot. So um, yeah, we're going to get this fixed up. I still have the box that the um, pool box came in. And it is 165 gallon. And Sam's Club only had the gray color. Now I will say this, if you buy this from Sam's Club, um, when we opened it, we were missing one whole side out of the box, even though it had like the little um, racks around it that we had to cut, it was missing a side. And I picked it up on a Saturday. So I actually had to end up emailing the company because when I called, they said they're only open Monday through Friday on a little automated machine. So. I did send them an email, told them, you know, that this was missing a side, and they did send me the side. They didn't email me back or anything. They just went ahead and sent me a FedEx tracking number, and it got here rather quickly, but it was the wrong color. So, at Sam's Club, the box was gray, but, um, and it, it was marked here on the inner box that the components came in, but they sent me a brown side, so we ended up making that our back side. But yeah, it had these ties around it and everything, and we had to cut those, and then it was still missing a side, brand new out of the box. It wasn't a return. So, of course, we couldn't open it at Sam's. We didn't, we wouldn't have known that. And if you have an issue, it says not to return to the store, but to contact the company. So, we did get that put together. All right, continuing with our back patio furnishing, I am here at Old Time Pottery. I haven't been here in a while, but today it's a beautiful 74 degrees outside. It's so nice and warm. Um, it's a Saturday, so I'm coming out here to check out Old Time Pottery. I'm looking for an outdoor rug for the patio. I need like a 9 by 12 and Old Time Pottery normally has a pretty good selection of rugs. I've bought indoor rugs from here in the past, so I'm hoping to find something here. I've already been to Walmart and Target and Sam's Club and haven't found anything that I liked yet, so... I'm gonna go in here and check it out and maybe I'll find some little accent pieces. I did order the stand for my wood fire grill and I also ordered this cooler for the patio. I'm gonna show that to you once it gets here. I've ordered them from Amazon so they should be here in a couple days. Um, and so I will show you all that stuff once I do the final um, assembling of everything on the porch and you'll get to see the final product once I'm finished. So let's go into Old Time Pottery and see what they have. All right, there's quite a bit to look through here. If you need a rug or a doormat, Old Time Pottery is definitely a place to check out. 
Well, I didn't end up finding anything that I liked at Old Time Pottery, so now let's go over to Sam's Club, see if they've restocked on their rugs. Maybe I'll have better luck there. All right, so this is one of the things that I ordered for the porch off of Amazon. It just came in today, so I'm gonna have to assemble, but it looks like it's gonna be easy assemble because this is the same brand that that pool box were in. It was very easy to assemble. So it is a like side table, but it raises up and it's a cooler down in here that you can put uh, wine bottles and I forget how many beers it said that it held. But anyway, we'll get this assembled and it is brown in color so it matches my outdoor furniture. So it'll look nice once it's all put together. Well, that took all of about 10 minutes to put together. So down here on the inside of the table, you have your drain plug over here that comes out so that you can drain your liquid after your um, ice melts down in there. And it's actually pretty deep in there. You can put tons of ice and drinks. Then this just has a little lock right here so you twist it and that just dropped on my arm but it's fine and then it goes down into a table like a side table for the patio furniture and you can put something on top of it to cover this up if you want to but yeah that was very easy to put together just three screws in there uh, the package has come in from amazon and this is the stand for my ninja wood fire grill all right, so here is the stand for the wood fire grill. And it does fold away and it's collapsible. It's got all weather wheels, utensil holder, and it's specifically made for the Ninja. So there are the measurements. And we're going to get this out. I'm not going to set it up right now because we have a tornado warning here until 9 p.m. tonight. So I'll probably set it up tomorrow. All right, there she is out of the box. And there was no assembly required. Just had to remove some tape from here. And that's it. So it's ready to go. It's got our little hooks here. And I'm short, I'm five foot, so this is perfect for me. All right, here we are. We've got the back porch pretty much decorated. I'm still probably gonna put a live plant over here, maybe by this table. And of course, put something on the table. Now it has been raining all day and the pollen has been bad. So if you see pollen on something, it's just pretty bad about this time of year but my rug did come in today from amazon so i like the color it's like a teal and gray that looks blue on camera because it was raining today i pulled the wood fire back under cover but i did have it sitting out next to the pit boss over the weekend when it was nice outside and that's where i hope to keep it but it's not blocking the walkway when it's over here behind the chair so that's fine um it does have a cover on it but the actual little grill says to store indoors when not in use. I'm not taking this thing inside the house. I can just roll it under here and it's fine. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed and appreciate you hanging out during this patio decorating journey. And maybe you'll get some inspiration to get your outdoor space looking nice this summer. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.